Keto Big Mac salad. Is there such a thing? There is today. I'm Urvashi, my blog is twosleevers.com and I'm gonna show you how to make a keto Big Mac-like salad. Now, of course, because it's keto, there is gonna be no bread for you, uh, but you will also not care. So, let's get started. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna get our pot heating. So essentially, there's gonna be three stages to the salad. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna brown the ground beef. While the ground beef is, br is browning, you're gonna make your Big Mac sauce, your not-so-secret sauce. Uh, and then while all of that is coming together, you're gonna go ahead and chop up your lettuce and your um, pickles and um, uh, cheese and all of the other things that are actually gonna go into the salad. Here's, I've got this pan relatively hot. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our ground beef and we're gonna let it cook. Let's get everything together for the sauce. Mayo, we're gonna put in mustard. We're gonna pour in vinegar, about a tablespoon-ish. We're gonna go ahead and add one package of Splenda. We wanna see how sweet that's gonna get it. And let's mix this up. And then I'm gonna be chopping up some onions and pickles. And since they're both gonna go in at the same time, and they both need to be diced about the same, like really tiny dices, I'm just gonna mix it all in one, one cutting board here. Make little matchsticks and then flip the matchsticks on their side and chop it into little dice, okay? This beef is not gonna have much in it. We're just gonna put a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper in it, okay? Pretty plainly seasoned. But there's gonna be so much seasoning from the other stuff that you're really not gonna need more than this. So we have our mustard, mayonnaise, vinegar, and a little bit of sweetener in here. I'm gonna add the chopped pickles and the chopped onions to this, okay? This is gonna be our sauce, and we're gonna mix this up. Now, the original sauce um, is a little bit red. They get that red, I think, through a French dressing-like combination, but honestly, I'm not sure you need it. If you don't like the aesthetics of this and you want it a little bit redder, go ahead and put in paprika. Totally optional. It's not gonna change the taste that much, to be honest, but it'll make it a little bit redder, and that might look you know, more like what you're accustomed to. Meanwhile, my ground beef is done, so I'm going to turn this off. And I'm just going to let it sit here for half a minute while I finish doing what I'm doing here. This is a really good time to taste it, make sure everything is good. So let's do that. Mmm, that's really good. I think it needs a little more sweetener, so I'm going to put in eh, maybe a half of this. And now we are going to chop up our um, iceberg lettuce. You can use romaine, but as you know, that's not what you get when you uh, go to the fast food restaurant. So we're going to use whatever they use. Now, I, uh, you could you could tear it. I'm just going to chop it because I like my lettuce kind of finely diced, um, shredded, really. And then what I would suggest to you is that you get a nice glass bowl, translucent on the side, and layer it so that it's going to look all pretty and you can see all the different layers in it. Now, the other thought I have for you on this one is that you can always make this into a mason jar salad to take to work the next day. You need to leave it out uh, for long enough for the beef to come to room temperature if you're gonna do that. But let's say that we put our lettuce in at the bottom here. The next thing we're gonna do is sprinkle some cheese, okay? You want that hot ground beef to go on top of the cheese because you want the cheese a little bit melted, not totally, but you do want a little bit of that heat to get into it. Okay, some slices of onion on top of this. I have some hamburger dill pickle slices, which you could either leave whole, um, but I feel like whole is gonna be a lot of sudden flavor in there. It's gonna be a big mouthful of it, so I'm just gonna cut mine just a tad. Let's put that on it. Now we're gonna take and we're gonna drizzle some of our sauce on this, okay? When you're doing this in a mason jar, um, be sure to use this ordering of stuff. You, what you don't want is you don't want the uh, dressing and the lettuce to touch until much later, okay? And there you have it. I want you to look at it from the side, look how pretty it is. Uh, and when you're ready, you can just mix it up and have a taste. Mmm. Oh my God, you guys, this tastes exactly like a Big Mac. I, I'm not kidding you. You know when things are keto, you expect them to taste a little bit different. This one does not taste different. So here you have it, a very simple keto Big Mac-like salad. 
I'm Urvashin. My blog is suslivage.com. I hope that was helpful. And if you found this helpful, please share this video. Thanks for watching.